I'm here because I realized that this strike is for the future generations. Tuition indexation was something one in the 2000 strike. Any hike in the tuition for grad students would be followed by an increase in their funding packages. And I believe in society, the same thing. If inflation goes up, our wages as workers should go up. It's very simple. I'm my first year master's student, I'm seeing a class of 200 students. I was given a contract that let me mark each midterm and final for three minutes. And that's not really a way to provide anyone with a quality education. We're not be, even being paid at the poverty line. It's really difficult to, to focus on marking papers and teaching students effectively when you're focusing on trying to find somewhere to live or not having anywhere to live or not being able to eat. The best solution in all of this is the administration, even the province, recognizing that the work that we do is real and we deserve to be compensated fairly for it. My TAs in my first, second, third year university were part of the fabric of my learning. There should not be classes while we have our TAs outside uh, demonstrating for their rights. Undergrads, while there's a strike, should be on the picket lines. I think solidarity between institutions is important because this is something that's so much bigger than just one contract at U of T or one contract at York. This is a trend where we're seeing post-secondary institutions disenfranchising its workers and shuffling undergraduate students through like cattle. When we treat education like a business, like we treat it like Walmart or any of these big corporations, we've lost our path. Education is meant to enlighten and to inspire. We all deserve a basic right to education, a basic right to a living wage, being treated with respect and dignity. And that's what this country has been based on. This country hopefully will continue to be based on. Education is a right. Canada has committed to that, uh, to international covenant and economic, social and cultural rights. So it's not like if we were inventing that right, that right is there since uh, 50 years as one of the main uh, part of the, one of the main uh, uh, instrument of human rights. We had 3,000 undergraduate students walk out of their classes last Wednesday. We're marching here in solidarity with York University and other QP workers. We have 30,000 students in Quebec that are going to do a huge march later this week. We're strong. Our movement is strong, and I'm confident in that. And I hope that the province and the administration sees that. So having a good student movement, a wider student movement that is able to demand that, not just uh, uh, for TAs, RAs, but for undergrad students, as we are trying to do with the demonstration here today, is something that would make a big difference. This is what makes, I think, that uh, the tuition fees are so lower in Quebec, because uh, the, the student movement has been built as a strong uh, tool for demanding, for, pro for protesting, for organizing people in function of getting a bigger uh, education and a cheaper education. The strikes at U of T and York are part of a growing global movement against the neoliberal university. My hope for this whole process is the fact we win, that we can have a university that is based on equity, based on the respect of employees, on students, on workers, and then also for one day having free education across this country. This is a goal, this is not a dream, this is a goal, we will get it. This is not something that's going to stop today, it's going to continue on. We strike to win. <laughs>